So I was asked about um, how to make zipper tape look finished. So um, without the stops on it. I've been working on some uh, snowdrops. So this is a really good um, one for me anyway um, to show you because it uh, all of the snowdrops. I'm I always use zipper tape. Um, if I'm working with number three, I use um, prepared zippers and just trim them down to what I need. But so I've got zipper tape. I have my zipper pull attached. I'm coming all the way up to the top. Open it up a little bit. Um, as I understood, and, and maybe maybe I misunderstood it, um, to 45 the ends, I was kind of folding this back, but I could never get this so that it would, like when I sewed, that it would stay nice, and so I was always uneven, it didn't work. So what I've um, started doing, and it works for me, and, I, and it works for other people that I've shown as well, is to take this piece, bend this at a 45. And so I have, I end up with this. So I actually, I fold my tape over as well so that it's nice and neat and, and so that it's fairly even on this edge. Then what I do is I just, this is about the only time you'll see me <laughs> um, doing any hand sewing but I just take a couple of stitches. So I, I'm going through everything and I'm just going through where that folds over. I'm gonna put my thread through the teeth, come around, and I'm just gonna take a couple of loops here. Just enough that it'll hold it down. And it'll, it holds it nice and even right there. So that's that side. I'm just going to tie it off and I'll do the other side as well. And this isn't super important that it's all secure and all of that kind of stuff. Because uh, it's really is just a temporary thing. Now if I really want to make sure that I'm going to be even when I'm all done, I can put my zipper up to the top and see that. But got to keep it out of the way here. So again, I'm just going to flip this over to make a 45. Now I'm going to compare and make sure that I'm going to be even. Because I don't want, if I end up, you know, like this, uh, one side's going to be longer than the other. I have found is if I make sure that this side, if I start off with my zipper tape, the right, um, even as a raw edge, like this, for example, it's, I've got another one that I have to do. Um, if I start off with my zipper tape even here, then by the time I get to here, I'll be good too. So once again, and now I don't have my thing knotted. Once again, just going to put, and I just do it so that it's out, so that my stitching is actually out in the seam allowance. So no matter whether, <laughs> now I got caught here. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> boy, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. <laughs> I've got it caught. There we go. Some little bloopers for you girls. And again, just going to do a couple of little stitches in here. There we go. So this is what I end up with for my zipper. It's nothing fancy. It's I'm not going to any great lengths. Um, and when I I end up with it nice and uh, it's nice and neat to start off with. And my zipper is even this way. Um, 
I just have some stuff prepared here. This is, I'm, I'm working on Snowdrop. So what I'm preparing here, I do mine a little bit differently. Um, and when I get to the point of, that I get my tutorial done, um, I'll show you this as well. So this is my two, um, oh, what do they call them? Zipper panels, I think they call it. Um, normally you, you fold both edges in a quarter inch and then do your sewing. Um, I like to sew mine together first at a quarter inch, fold this back, sorry, I leave this this way, <laughs> get this flipped around, and I'm going to open this up, but I tuck this in right up to the edge, and I'm going to clip it so that it's all clipped in, and then I'm going to stitch and turn it through so that you see my zipper. Um, doing it this way, then I know my edges is nice and neat. Oh, I got this turned around. Um, and because I've been a little bit careful about keeping this, I mean, it's, it's moved a little bit, and that's fine too. But when I tuck this in, and when I clip, oops, everything lines up and then I end up with a nice square uh, edge to my zipper like I have in the picture on my Facebook page. So of course I'm just going to clip all of this down and then I'm going to sew at uh, I think it's a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So so that's that's how I do that. Um, so that's my method of 45ing the ends so that you can get a nice finished look without using the zipper stops. Those just don't work for me at all. So, um, because you can't, you don't end up taking those coils off anyway. So you don't, um, so you have a little silver thing here that's your stop, but you're still dealing with all the teeth. It's not like metal zippers where you can actually just take your teeth off. So anyway, I uh, hope that helps and hope that clarifies.